Hi, this is a guide as to how to use Virtue Mart on a Joomla uh, website. If we go to Components, you'll see that you click on Virtue Mart, and it comes up with the dashboard. Um, I've set up quite a lot of the background products and so on already, but it's very, very simple to use. You've got configuration here, in which you can put lots of details in about your shop. You've got the product, um, let's go from the top, so you've got the shop itself, you've got the shop front, so you can you can choose what options appear on the actual shop itself. You've got coupons that you can add, so let's say we're going to add it for a month. I'll show you how to add coupons shortly. The template I've used is the template that comes with the actual um, shop website. Oops, better turn my phone off. Okay, so that's that. So you have to, it's a bit like the main part of Joomla. You have categories, um, on which on this site we've got new mama group classes, mama classes, and the fit kit. So they're the overriding categories of which the products will sit beneath. If we hover over it, you'll see that I've named them and I've given them a suitable description. You can add meta details, which I haven't done yet, but obviously we'll be doing all the meta details there so that's that's the category and then from the category you pop a product on there so if we um, do if we look at one I've already popped in in fact you'll see that you just go to new and then you put in all the details of the product that you wish I haven't got an SQ number so I've just literally called them in numerical order you put the price in there I haven't got a manufacturer so that's all we need to put on that bit. Then you've got the description. So you can put a short description in here. So if I just copy this bit here, pop it in there, then that's the short description and click apply. Product status. You can, If you've got a limited amount of stock, this would be where you put how many of these items you've got. If you were going to post it, you'd have to put in the details here. Images, this was a bit of a challenge because they've changed it on the new uh, Virtue Mart. I was going here to try and upload the images, but what you do is you literally go to the bottom and then choose File and Upload and then Save and then it does it for you. Make sure that it's the size you want to upload prior to uploading it. So I usually make things a maximum of 600 pixels. Custom fields are quite good. Um, I've put a, cust a couple of custom fields on this site. We've got cu we've got a choose date because they offer different classes, so it means that people can let them know which class they're going to attend when they make the booking, and also downloads, which is cool. I had to get a plugin for that, of which I'll add the link to the screenshot. Um, but it's really good because it means that when people pay for the item, they can actually download a PDF in this case with instructions, or you can even do audio downloads with it. So it's really really good. In fact, let me find the chap's website because he's been an absolute star. Okay, this is it. So it's this is the URL for the website for the plugin if ever you wanted to get it. He's a very helpful chap. He's helped me out no end. We're getting my head around all this. So that's products. As I say, we can set up custom fields from the custom fields tab here. You just go to new choose what you want it to be, be it the plugin, as in I've put Reinhold's plugin there, or if you've got an image. The, the date one didn't work and I've googled it and asked a few people and I'm not sure how that one works. If anyone can let me know that would be great. Orders and shoppers, you can tweak things in here. The shop itself, I've added, um, this is where you can have the media files, so you can upload more pictures. Payment methods, I've just stuck to PayPal with this one and I've also downloaded the PayPal plugin which I'll just show you here so you can see how which one that is. This one, the VM payment PayPal, I've popped that on there to access that. And this one's good, I've just found this this morning and this um, will be able to say, set up subscriptions which is quite a new thing on Virtue Mart so you can have subscriptions on there. We go back to the shop. Configuration, you can do all sorts of tweaks, change the countries, the countries that you sell to, and so on. And that's about it, really. So let's just take it from the top. So you add a category, 
So say you're setting cameras, you perhaps put the make of the camera there. And then once you've set the category, you go to products. We add a new product here. Put in all the details here, the price, if you're going to do postage and so on. Calculate the cost price. Upload the image there. If you're adding any custom fields, they go there. And that's it. So if we go to the front of the site, we have a look at the shop. Oops, I only have pressed the wrong button. You'll see that this is how it looks on this site. You can get lots of templates as well with um, Virtue Mart that make them look you know, like more of a shop, this is for group classes and also um, there's lots of modules that make the products move around the bottom of the site so you can advertise more of the products but if you see, if we click on the six month pass it will come up and look, you can download the PDF which is fantastic so that's how you download the PDF for that one and then if we go back to the group classes you'll see the drop down for the custom fields that I added So they can choose which date they want to attend and they can get the PDF. So VirtuMark, brilliant solution for e-commerce on a Joomla website. Very easy to install and once installed, um, it had a few little, little, um, well, quite a lot of challenges setting it up because of the fact that, for instance, on here it's got some comments that you have to get rid of. So if you want any help with it, then email lucy at lucyswebdesigns.co.uk and I'll do my best to help you. Thank you very much.